Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger. In this lecture video, we'll illustrate the anatomy of the jaw muscles of primitive cynodonts, comparing the condition found in Ophacodon with those found in Thryaxodon. One of the most remarkable changes we see in early proto-mammals is the development of strong jaw muscles. These larger muscles resulted in a reconstruction of the skull to accommodate these, these bigger muscles. When we compare the early Permian synapsid reptile, Ophacodont, with the Triassic cynodont, we can see how these muscles really had a major effect on the morphology of the skull. In Ophicodon, the temporal fenestra on the side of the skull is rather small and featured a local attachment site for the adducting muscles to close the jaw. These muscles also lacked a robust attachment site on the lower jaw. Thus the muscles that close the jaw were rather weak and the jaw basically snapped close, but it was not a tight bite, with a, not a really tight resulting bite. In the more advanced cynodonts, the attachment sites are much broader and bigger on the skull. There's a big sagittal crest that helps support this really broad attachment area for the temporalis, or adductor muscles, which inserted into the lower jaw on this really tall process called the coronoid process. The temporal opening is just really greatly expanded, which forms this broad zygomatic arch which serves as the origin for another muscle, the masseter muscle, which worked to also close the jaw, and it provided some back and forth motion for chewing. This broad zygomatic arch facilitating, facilitated chewing uh, muscles and resulted in a much tighter bite than in more primitive synapsids. Chewing and stronger bites are a major reason for the early success of mammals during the Triassic. They were able to exploit both meat and vegetation as diets and allowed them to structure their teeth to specialize in food that would not have been available to them with the weaker configuration of the skull. All right, you should be able to illustrate the anatomy of the jaw muscles of primitive cynodonts, comparing the condition found in Ophacodon with those found in Thryaxodon. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Utah State University Geology Program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin Links are found in the description below.